Hey everybody, welcome aboard. Captain Mike here. Um, a new day, a new way. I've pretty much put the X-Plane 12 to MS-2020 um, project to the side. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get any more performance out of that setup. And I think I'm going to be stuck with those minor flickers um, if I try to continue. Um, but one good thing is that the gentleman that created that bridge for me um, is also working on another package called DIM, um, Device Interface Manager. And I had an opportunity to take a look at a very early version. I have version 1.15. And uh, that version requires the uh, PMDG uh, airliner to be installed. So I went ahead and I purchased the PMDG 738. And I installed it yesterday. But I'm having a problem with my buttons. None of the buttons and none of the uh, rockers work. They'll highlight blue, but they're all dead. So I sent in a support ticket to them. But I figured while I'm waiting on that to get fixed, I might as well take a look at this dim software. And to give you an idea on just how simple it is to get set up, I'm going to open it up now and give, give you a view of what it looks like. And we're going to set up the two CDUs and the MCP, which is the heart of the auto flight system, so that the Flight Deck Solutions hardware will be working with MS-2020 through DIM. Now when I open up the DIM software, this is what I'm presented with. Now on the left, those are all the boards that are recognized by the software. You can see my Flight Tech Solutions CDU is up on top and then it goes to the HIO 64 and FDSOE1 and so on and so forth. Now to install the um, CDUs into uh, the DIM setup, all I'm going to do here is click on Add. I'm going to come up to where my Captain CDU is, which is right here, FDS CDU V9. Left click on it and drag it down to serial number and then let go of the left mouse button. And that's now in. I'm going to give it a name. This is going to be Captain C A P T CDU. And on the right hand screen, we're going to here, we're going to select the profile. And this is going to be PMDG 737 left CDU. That's done. We're going to come here and we're going to add the first officer CDU. So I'm going to click on add again. I'm going to come down the first officer CDU, which is down here on the bottom. I'm going to left click, hold it, drag it over to serial number and let it go and double click on name. I'm going to rename that to First Officer CDU. Going to come in to select Profile and select PMDG 737NG Right CDU and that's now set. And now we're going to come up and take a look at the MCP and we have the FDS controller MCP which is right here and we're going to click on add we're going to do the same thing hold the left mouse button under the controller MCP drag it over to where the serial number is let it go and there it is and then here we're going to rename it flight deck solutions MCP. We're going to come over to where the select profile is and we're looking for the PMDG 737NG MCP. One other thing that we're going to look at just before we try and connect is down here on the bottom you see this little cog wheel. I'm going to click on that. Now, this particular DIM module is running on the same computer as MS-2020. So, as far as SIM Connect is concerned, 127.0.0.1 is just fine, and the port is 500. Now, if I was running this DIM program on a different computer, then I would point this 
to my server, and my server just happens to be 192.168.1.233. And that is basically it. 127.0.0.1. All right, that's in. Now we're going to go back up to home. And as you can see, all three of these are in. We have our start button here, and you can see up on top, we have a red little dot. Now, if we connect to MS-2020 with no problem, that dot is going to turn green. And what's going to happen is we're going to get some items up on the screen. Now, here are my CDUs. Now, if you get a big screen like this, just double click on it and then I have another one over here I'm gonna double click on that one as well and I'll give you an idea let me bring this this is what it looks like when they come on the screen so all I have to do with this is just slide it over into position to where it is to my uh, CDU on my lower display once I get it there I'm just gonna double click and lock it into position now I'm gonna do the same thing with the first offices panel I'm gonna put that into position as well and as you can see from the uh, from the camera angle that I'm gonna give you now the MCP and the two uh, CDUs now have uh, data on them. That's pretty much it just to set these three items up and they're pretty much good to go with uh, MS-2020 and that's the heart of the auto flight system. So uh, Mr. Odom, uh, Nils, um, is doing an amazing job on this software and the GUI, I mean the interface is just, uh, it's rather simple to use. I mean if I can use it I think anyone can. So uh, I'm going to continue to look at this because this looks extremely promising, and uh, I'll keep you up to date. Anyway, take care, everybody, and I'll catch you on my next, uh, my next run.